Now, I've always been partial to a goo kebab, especially after a few ales, and today, Harry Biker Sai King is making one with scallops. I, on the other hand, do enjoy a good Chinese. Dave Myers is using scallops to make some delicious spring rolls. It's a competition, and Stefan, Tom and I will choose our favourite. OK, Sai, so what are you going to make? What have we got here? OK, what we're going to do is we're going to um, smoke some scallops and prawn kebabs over some fantastic whiskey and some basil. So, shall we get stuck yeah, in? Definitely. OK. First thing that we do, now this is a really good way to do it because, I mean you need to turn your smoke alarm off, you know, but be alright. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do is we're just going to put some, and put the stalks in as well, we're just going to sprinkle some fresh basil so over what, the top the wood of chips those. here, what are they? Just They're must get wood, wood chips, but you can use the kind of, you know, you can use hickory chips if you want to, or apple chips or whatever, okay, so, and that just gives it a nice, nice smoke. And do you, you soak them first? Yeah, you do, you soak them in water first and then also, and the reason for that is yeah. that you want the smoke to release, you don't want it to burn, so you don't want it to have a small fire in the bottom of your wok, okay, you know, yeah. you just want it to smoke. And then over the top of that, Whoa. we're going to put some whiskey. And that just gives it, there's just a, there's a maltness to the, to the flavour of the smoke. And then look at these scallops, what we're going to do, we're going to take a couple of these. Now, the coral of the scallop we're going to take off because we're going to use that a little bit later so on. you're not going to throw that away? No, no, Good. no, that's, that's massively, it is, it's fantastic. Um, and then what we'll do, we just thread a scallop, thread a prawn, thread a scallop. So we're going to put that on there, like that. Okay, now do you want me to do anything? I yeah, I tell you what, could you do me a favour, can you yep. half that orange for yep. me? Do us a favour, Tom, put that in here. Now, what we're going to do with this... Yeah, stick straight on that. Straight on there. Right now, there. what we're going to do is we're going to do a burnt orange dressing with this. Yep. So, the scallops will go over some lamb's, yep. lamb's lettuce. Put that on, and then the burnt orange uh, dressing just oh, takes lovely. it really nice. It's yes. really good. Right, Dave, what's going on in, uh, in your spring rolls? Well, I'm making some scallop spring rolls, and... The season with a little bit of five spice powder, uh -huh. coriander, serve that with a little mooly salad, some ginger, and a really quite a nice spicy dipping sauce. S spring rolls are great for scallops because, you know, scallops always need cooking gently. Mm. And um, of course, the spring rolls are protected, they're just kind of steaming their own juices. The yum. <laughs> Should we get cracked yeah. in? Right, okay, so what do we do? Scallops we need to prep, and, you know, it comes with a coral. I'm not using the coral for this, so just break that off. And there's a little like, poo poo sack there. So we'll have that off. Now I think Sai needs the corals. Really? That's it, that membrane. See, all I want is the juicy meat. We'll cut that into four. Do you want me to take these over to him? Oh, you wouldn't mind. There's one there, yeah. two there. Yeah, Go great. On, carry on. Oh, give us some free ones, Kingy. Oh, good lad, good lad. Is that not great? A little bit of five spice tap. We get all the lovely corals. Love those corals. Right. Some coriander. Yep. Five spice. Okay. A little bit of sea salt, not too much. A bit of black pepper. It's very delicate. I, d I, d I am rather delicate, unlike <laughs> Paul, Paul Cahontas over there, who's sending up smoke signals. <laughs> now, to seal the spring rolls, yep. I've just mixed some corn flour with water mm -hmm. and used that as a little paste. So I tend to kind of do all of it to make sure they stick, because I've had some spring rolls explored once on Saturday Kitchen, and uh, it's like really embarrassing. <laughs> so start rolling. Keep it quite tight, because I don't want that much air in them, you know? Because then they will just puff up like wontons. Okay.